The task of being a rector is multifarious. We've discussed some of the problems. The main, most important ones, of course, are to support the academic excellence of the college. But one is also very much involved in day-to-day -day activities of all sorts. Um, I certainly found it was a seven-day-a-week job, uh, which I enjoyed. This is not by way of a complaint, but one certainly finds that one is talking to an awful lot of people a lot of the time. And that was, to my mind, highly desirable. Um, I believe that uh, the more people the rector can talk to on a personal basis, the easier it is for the rector to explain policy issues and have them penetrate uh, uh, through, through the, the staff. Um, one of the tools which I found extremely helpful was email. Now, speaking in 2006, that hardly sounds revolutionary. I had the greatest difficulty in persuading people to go over to email, um, or to, uh, many of my colleagues to go over to email, probably around about um, 1987. Um, I then instituted a system whereby I would communicate with heads of departments only by email. And that really did bring home the message that this is the way to go. Of course, it's a two-edged sword. I remember when we had a problem, which I don't need to go into details on, but something which upset a lot of people. I got 82 email messages um, from various colleagues. I replied to each and every one of them. Um, and I think that's the great advantage of email, that you can actually do this. I might add that when we'd solved the problem, um, everybody was happy and the number of email messages I got on this subject was zero. But that goes with the job.